Hey all and welcome to our joyful home. Today we are going to be doing an update because I feel like it's about time. I have not, my husband nor I have really done any videos and any updates for you guys in a very long time. But the most recent video that we did put out is our little announcement about baby number four. I am pregnant with our fourth baby, which is kind of crazy. Um, so there's a lot to update you guys on, and so let's go ahead and head right on into this update. So I've been planning this video for a while and had wanted to do it two weeks ago. Well, three weeks ago, and then two weeks ago, and then a week ago, and things just kept getting in the way. We all got sick. My kids are still battling pink eye right now. Um, they're much better but like that stuff's gnarly. Anyway, um, and I have, I'm getting over a cold, so it's just been crazy. But yes, I'm pregnant with our fourth child. As most of you know who have subscribed to our channel, you guys saw that little short that we put out. And if you haven't seen it, and you can go watch it, I'll put it in the description below. But that was kind of our way of announcing to the world that I'm pregnant with our fourth baby. And um, it was, it was crazy and we had been planning to wait a little bit longer to have another baby um, due to I needed some more therapy for my body and some stuff that just needed to take place. But yeah, anyway, God had different plans, um, but here real quick I want to kind of break and share, and share with you guys my first reaction when I saw the pregnancy test. So today is December 27th of 2023. And this happened. <laughs> I'm shaking. <sighs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> Baby number four. I'm a little uh, very shocked actually and very surprised because I'm actually not surprised but I'm shocked because I thought, I don't know, we just haven't been trying and I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Anyway, <sighs> baby number four is <sighs> here, guys. I am pregnant. <laughs> Wow, I am so shocked. Anyway, so as you can see, that was my reaction. Um, I was very much taken by surprise. I was shaking, um, but I wasn't taken by so much surprise that, like, I was like, oh, this could never happen. You know, obviously, yeah, anyway, I've had this happen before. Um, and I kind of figured, I think my period was late by a day or two. And so I was like, well, I should, it's done this before, so, but I should just check, you know, just in case. But we had had a lot of first, or a lot of close calls as far as pregnancy goes several months ago. And for several months, we've been having close calls and just being like, oh, like, oh dear, maybe I am pregnant, you know? Um, and so it was kind of, it, it took me by surprise a little bit because we had had close calls before um, but this was the closest call like this this was a yeah I probably am pregnant moment and then I was like no nah, we'll just do this you know, we'll just take the test it'll be negative and sure enough it was a, a positive but um, anyway <clears throat> so that was my reaction I was very excited but I was also a little like little disappointed just because I wasn't quite prepared for it to be this soon um, but I was still super happy, and it's a blessing from the Lord, so, you know, that's awesome. My husband's reaction was a little bit less enthusiastic, uh, which is funny because with our second child, um, I remember feeling that way. I wasn't super enthusiastic about having another child so close together, and um, he was just ecstatic. He was so excited that we were going to have another baby, and uh, so it's just kind of funny. Roles have, sl uh, have switched kind of um, with this fourth baby, <clears throat> which is great. Now we're, we're all now super happy about it. 
um, but it was just a funny moment and something to think about like when things take you by surprise and you're not expecting it and it can be a little disappointing sometimes especially with another child because that can be a lot to take in and we've been going through quite a lot and so it was it was a bit of a shock for him especially but anyway we're all super excited about it now and um, it's just it's exciting to have another baby my kids on the other hand were so ecstatic they were so happy they were literally jumping like I have got to show you guys this clip and I'll show it right here guess what mommy has a baby in her tummy <laughs> What do you think about that? <laughs> I have a baby in here. I want to name it a baby girl. You want to name it a baby girl? Really? Because we want to have a baby. baby. Yeah. Yeah. It's a baby in there. Yeah, well, it's in here. Wait, it's super tiny. You can't even tell. Mommy won't, won't show for a long time. I won't get big for a while. No, no not in there. <laughs> in here. I'll tickle her. <laughs> she might laugh. We don't know if it's a girl. Yeah, but. You have to, but you have to wait a while to see if it's a girl. Yeah, so. So you're going to go to the doctor. Jonathan, no, I don't usually go to the doctor. I'm going to go to a midwife that helped deliver you. You and even him. You. I have a baby in my tummy too. No, you do not have a baby in your tummy too. <laughs> So that was their reaction. So cute, adorable, and my son, my, so the oldest, Judah, he, he's just, he's convinced it's a girl, by the way, and um, he had like had this name picked out, which we were like, no, but it was so cute, and he's just like, it's a girl, mom, it, it, it's a girl, it has to be a girl, and um, I have had to tell him lots of different times, well, Judah, it could be a boy. There's a 50-50 chance, and he's just like, well. And so finally, after a couple days and weeks of telling him that, he was like, okay, mom, yeah, you're right. Could be a boy. And so he, he'll say that occasionally, but he still like automatically goes to referring to the baby as a she, uh, her as his sister, and so it's adorable. And so does Kyla, which is our second child. And Jonathan's just, he's like, what there's a baby in mommy's tummy like that makes no sense um because he's he's the baby <laughs> he's gonna have a rude awakening come uh, september but um anyway yeah so so anyway those reactions were special and i'm glad i got some of them not josiah's which he was it was a harder for him so i'm kind of glad I didn't get that reaction on video but i'm really glad i got the kids especially their reaction was super sweet and it was it was just very heartwarming um, I'm so excited that they are so excited. I know they've been wanting a baby brother or sister for a while now, another one. And so I guess this was just the time God had said, well, I guess it's time now. So anyway, I am, today I am nine weeks along. So, um, I'm hitting those, I just hit the two month mark and now I'm hitting, um, I'm getting closer and closer to the second trimester. Still a ways, a little ways off, but um, but yeah. Anyway, so I'm nine weeks today, um, and I am due September 3rd of 2024 of this year, and so um, which is kind of interesting. My my brother's birthday, one of my brother's birthdays, is September 2nd. So that'd be kind of cool if I was to have a baby on his birthday, but we'll see. So let's um, go into the pregnancy symptoms with this fourth child, shall we? So. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I found out at like four weeks, um, almost five, I think. I was closer to five weeks when we found out, four and a half weeks or something like that. And so I felt great. I felt amazing. I didn't feel pregnant, except for a little tiredness and some really weird dreams, which is always typically my pregnancy symptoms for every child. Everything's diff been different between them, but as far as like that's been basically the symptoms with every child that I've had is weird dreams and tiredness 
but I had been tired before um, because I'd been trying to focus on some health and holidays and oh my goodness anyway so but I was I was tired and I didn't think anything about the tiredness but before I took the te pregnancy test to confirm I was pregnant I remember having these really vivid dreams and that is one of my big pregnancy symptoms is when I'm pregnant I have these super vivid dreams so I was like oh shoot I wonder I must be pregnant and so there was a little bit of like I probably am pregnant before I took the test and then I was just like ah, shocked when I saw it um, but anyway so those are some basic symptoms that I've had um, in the beginning and then week six six and a half weeks to week seven I started feeling nauseous and I was hoping I'd just pass not having any nausea um, because I had to had that with Judah and the other kids um, I had been feeling nauseous but I had felt nauseous like right at four to five weeks and so it just hit me right off the bat but not with this one this one decided to wait till you know almost seven weeks along to say hey guess what I'm inside and I'm going to make your life a little hard at the moment <laughs> I still love this child, I'm just saying. Um, so I, yeah, I started feeling nauseous and like to the point where I just like, food aversions, crazy, smell aversions, crazy. And I would just like go through life being like, oh, I'm fine, I'm, I'm totally fine because I wasn't as sick as some people. So that's what I kept telling myself. But yeah, week seven and eight hit me hard. And then, um, well, seven, week seven, it was hard. I was nauseous a lot and didn't want to eat and I have days where I just I didn't do much to be honest and so that was rough um, week eight came around and I started feeling better which was really really nice and um, today I'm feeling a little blah but you know I'm, I'm much better than I was before um, the seventh six sixth and seventh week I would have like literally every other day I do not kid you literally every other day I would feel sick and then the other the day after that I'd feel fine and then I'd feel sick I'd feel fine and then I feel sick I'm just be like really I'm not taking anything weird I'm barely taking stuff because I don't feel well but the thing with me was that I had to eat right when I got up and I had to eat when I was hungry if I didn't do that I got sick <clears throat> and I haven't thrown up or anything but I've come so close so I would say this baby when feeling nauseous has been the worst um, but the shortest amount of time to feel that way so I'm feeling better already and I'm week nine so and I'm feeling more like I'm getting to that second trimester where I'm getting more energy and all that now right now I'm not because my kids have been sick I've been up all hours you know the drill if you're a mother or a father for that matter so anyway that's kind of what I've been feeling um, and yeah it's been kind of crazy it's been a lot to take in and now it's kind of just normal like after about a month of us like knowing that i was pregnant it just sunk in and we were like okay we're gonna have another baby let's get excited and so yeah anyway so there's some questions i'm sure some people have are we gonna find out i think so um a lot of people have asked well, are you gonna do the you know the, t the uh blood test and probably not um, a lot of people like this test. I think it's great. Um, I just like having an ultrasound sometimes just once. I don't like having multiple because I don't like being exposed to the radiation with ultrasounds, but I do like ultrasounds to see the baby at least once in the entire pregnancy. And so it's really kind of fun. Um, so we'll probably do that where we'll have a 20 week ultrasound and I will, we'll find out the gender then. Um, the blood test is great and all, and I wouldn't mind doing it. But I have a thing, I have a thing. <laughs> when I'm pregnant with any child, I always have to hear the heartbeat regulate. So right around 20 weeks, it regulates to where it's, it will probably stay that heart rate the entire rest of the pregnancy. And it doesn't really hit that point till about 20 weeks or maybe a little before 20 weeks, but that's right when it starts to just be regular and it doesn't really change much but when in the beginning of your pregnancy when you start first start hearing the heartbeat um, it's kind of just really really high and new and it's fast and um, it can kind of be up and down 
but once <clears throat> your baby gets to be maybe a little before 20 weeks I'm not sure the exact time and every baby's probably different but it starts to regulate and become a more natural or normal to them um, heart, beat, heart rate so anyway with that being said I like to know the heart then their normal heart rate first before knowing the gender so that I can predict in my mind what I think the gender is um, every child I have had so far I have been right um, Judah he was a uh, under 140 beats or 140 heart rate and so I was like oh it's got to be a boy and with Kyla it was above 140 so I said it's got to be a girl both times correct with Jonathan we found out what he was after he was born but his heart rate was very similar to Judah's and so I figured I mean I have some symptoms that are linking me to more of Kyla but his heart rate or the baby's heart rate is like it's gotta be a boy sure enough he comes out and I'm like oh it's a boy anyway it was really great I like not fine I like not knowing the gender but I think it's kind of fun to know it sometimes so we might go you know find out with this one not find out with that one and it might be all over the place but I think we are gonna go ahead and find out with this child um, I do like knowing ahead of time sometimes it's just kind of fun and so anyway that's that's my thing that I like to do and so we will see if this baby is correct and if I can guess the gender correctly this time too it'll be kind of fun but anyway that's the pregnancy update um, life update there hasn't been that much I mean I know I said there's a lot of craziness going on but that's mostly due to the fact that I'm pregnant and it was a surprise and it's all crazy and we're now totally cool with it and it's awesome um, but you know like that's a lot to take in anyway um, as far as life updates go we've just been hunkered down trying to be well um, sickness has come and gone with us a lot of this after the holidays season and we um, it's just been rough not having enough sunshine and so I am gonna have to order like some more vitamin D and we're actually gonna start taking cod liver oil which will help with that vitamin D deficiency I know we all have um, but the Sun is out today so I'm gonna try and go get some sunshine and that will help a lot <laughs> but yeah sickness has been coming and going with us uh, church has been crazy busy because um, my husband is the youth leader I'm we're both the youth leaders in our church right now and it's been great we love it so we've been busy with that and um, just lots of different things happening um, I'm not gonna go into too crazy detail but that's about it we are getting ready to go on a marriage retreat for about a day and a half so that'll be fun um, and so yeah but everything else is just kind of slipping into place baby stuff is definitely in the planning we're just starting to figure stuff out um, one cool update is I have my first doula client it's a friend of mine who I'm just doing um, I'm just being her doula because we're friends um, and I've wanted to be a doula for a while now after having kids and so I've been able to um, I'm going to be her doula and she's gonna have a baby here in the next month or so so that's exciting and I'm really excited to be doing that um, and then the next big thing to happen is my midwife appointment which will be in a couple weeks uh, she usually sees me I think it's in around anywhere around 11 to 12 weeks so right in the middle of February and so we're right almost to February by the time this video airs it will be February so um, but yeah anyway that's about it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, it's crazy to think that I'm pregnant again and we're gonna have another baby it's crazy and exciting and lots to be looking forward to lots to plan for and I'm looking forward to doing these regular pregnancy updates with you guys and we will we also have a couple more videos coming out here soon so stay tuned we are going to be more regular on here hopefully very soon but we we've, we've taken pretty much two months of, to just let it soak in and take some time off YouTube and now we're back so um, anyway I'm looking forward to bringing you guys more content let's go ahead and show you the bump it's not much of a bump and it's really not much there but you know for a mom who's had her fourth this is now her fourth my fourth I have a little bump so let's show it
Thank you.